site along the Apawaho Heathcote River and what you'll see is three sets of two bales and the pest detect card is located on one or two of those bale sets and what we, information we want you to collect is the activity of the pest on the pest detector card as well as the condition of each bale set and the condition of the sign. The first thing you'll do when you come to the site, you'll observe the whole site, just make sure there's no hazards. The second thing you'll do is you'll locate the pest detector card and you'll take a photo. And get the details about the site and the bale set in, in the photo. What you'll see written on the wooden stake above the pest card is a site number and a bale set number. You'll also notice on the bale set is a tag and it should match the tag. The next thing you do is you can have a look at the information that we provided you to see whether you can identify what pest has come to the card and chewed on it or scratched it and it's a good nature pest detector card and they've provided some background information on what they've found along their way. We need to be aware of not trampling around the bale sets. There may be eggs or most likely be eggs in the grasses surrounding the bales so we'll try and keep very close to the wooden stake and behind this zone. The next thing we do is to unscrew the pest detector card. Take the screw out, don't put the screw in the grass. Put it into our pre-labeled zip, um, into our Ziploc bag that has the label inside it and we'll take that back with us to the classroom. Your new pest detector card looks like this. Put the screw through the top hole with the triangle, it points to where the screw needs to go, then fold it on itself, and so that's what we'll look like. You screw back into the same hole. Don't do the screw up too tightly because we don't want the pest detector card too close to the wooden stake because then something may not be able to nibble. Make sure there is some peanut butter goo poking out. If not, give it a bit of a squeeze to allow some peanut butter to be showing to entice those pests to come and nibble at the card. So now that you've swapped that over, you can then take other observations on the site. So have a look at the bale condition of bale set one, two, and three. And I can have a look at the, at the card located on the bale set to identify which bale set number this is. We will also assess the condition of the sign, anything that needs further attention. There are a number of ways you can record information whilst on site. One of the ways is via a device, Apple or Android device or you can record your information on a printout of the web database. And thanks to Ian Gover of Naitahu for developing up this app for us for this program. Through the database, you can view your observations as well as all of the other school's observations. You're able to view the data in a table. You can edit any of your points and that's where you can add a predator card photo. You can view all of the points as well as all of the other school's points on a map and you can toggle between what you're viewing and it's another way to get through to the web form. Thank you for being a part of this program. We're really excited to have all 18 schools involved. Refer to your instruction sheets that has a lot of information on it but at any time if you have any questions please just give me a call and we look forward to working with you on this program.